Good morning and thanks for joining me on this edition of Word, Worship and Prayer. My name is Tupsi Oyene and in this uh, message today and series of messages that I will be sharing together in few days and weeks to come, I'll be sharing with you um, things that the Holy Spirit has personally ministered to me, um, revelations that have impacted my life and um, it's been impressed in my spirit to share with you. Um, our anchor scripture for this discussion this morning is from Isaiah chapter 12, verse 3. And it says, Therefore, with joy, underline that word joy, you will draw water from the springs of salvation. Therefore, with joy, you will draw water from the springs of salvation. And so, this understanding came there was a particular weekend um i had some misunderstanding with my husband and you know we we eventually spoke about it and everything was sorted and after that discussion i i sat down to pray and um i felt a a flow i felt a release that i was able to pray in a way that i hadn't been able to in before we cleared the situation and we had a discussion and i asked the holy spirit what happened there and he said to me the blockers you know the the bible says that with joy you draw water out of the well of salvation so what happens is that when a situation a situation happens that blocks your joy and we say it uh, i'm not flowing well because you're not able to pray properly what has happened is that something, somewhere, somehow has blocked your joy. And once your joy, I don't know, for those of us that grew up in the, you know, not so uh, fancy um, environment where we, we used to draw water from the well. I mean, we had two wells in my, in my, um, in my parents' home growing up. And we had this container that you would tie a rope to. And when you want to draw water, you throw it in and you bring it up without that container and the rope you can only look at the water you can't get it out and the picture the holy spirit painted for me that day was that joy is that container and the rope that you use to draw water from the well and in this case we're drawing water from the well of salvation saints don't allow anyone or anybody to deceive you when your joy is blocked when your joy is limited it hinders you and i'm not talking about happiness here things can happen around you to make you happy but i'm talking about joy which is an attribute of the spirit but it gets blocked when things that surround the work of the flesh happen and that's why i will read the scripture galatians 5 19 to 21 so that you have an idea of those things that can block your joy it says now the practices of the sinful nature are clearly evident they are sexual immorality impurity sensuality which is total irresponsibility lack of self-control idolatry sorcery hostility strife jealousy fits of anger disputes dissensions factions that promote heresies envy drunkenness riotous behavior and other things like this scripture says i warn you beforehand just as i did previously that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of god i remember the scripture that says righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost that is the kingdom of god so we see how this work the works of the flesh hinder and block our joy I'm sure if wherever you are right now, you can relate at one time or the other where you got to the place of prayer and you couldn't pray and you're trying to figure out what happened here. Those are the blockers. And guess what? The Holy Spirit said to me, the works of the flesh are blockers. They stop you from assessing your well of salvation. What happens is that these blockers stop your joy. And once joy is inactive, access to the well of salvation, which is the flow of the spirit, stops. 
So the question is, is anything worth blocking your joy? Is anything worth hindering you from drawing from your well of salvation? One of the things that I learned from that experience is that, yes, discussions would happen that do not favor you. You might have, you know, um, disparity, the, the, um, a disparity in your opinion. You may have a situation where you disagree with somebody. But you can disagree but still be calm and exhibit grace even in it because your focus is that nothing no one no situation no circumstance must block your joy of salvation in conclusion i want us to pray because you know what it's good to hear these things we can talk about it but if the holy spirit does not help you to lay hold on his grace to eliminate blockers, you can only try. So where you are right now, just bow your heads and say this simple prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the opportunity to hear this word. I receive your grace at this moment to eliminate blockers, to eliminate the work of the flesh, to eliminate the things that will not allow me lay hold and be able to access the well of salvation that you have freely provided for me. I receive your grace at this time. I receive your grace to receive unhindered the well of salvation. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. If you have prayed that prayer, believe. Believe. And anytime, the next time anything comes to block your job, just say to it, you're not worth it. And I'm not saying go to people and tell them to their face, you're not worth it. But just in your mind, settle it that nothing and no one, it's not worth it. Because every time we go into the presence of God, we receive so much that sets us free to live for his praise and for his glory. Thank you for joining me on this edition of Word, Worship and Prayer. God bless you. Amen. Jesus, Jesus is your name. <laughs> hey, Jesus is your name. Defend, provide, supplier of my every need. Jesus, 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 that is your name. Somebody call his name. Sustainer, my sustainer